Let's take a look at calculating probabilities using bin the binomial distribution on Google Sheets. Here's our steps. We want to identify the number of trials. That's our N. Uh, identify the probability of a single trial, P. Sometimes that's usually given as a percentage. Um, but we put it in as decimal form. List the x values the problem entails and rewrite with any inequality or equality symbols. Then use the table on the following slide to determine how to enter the function. We got four possibilities. You can have uh, x is equal to a value, like x is equal to 5. You're flip, flipping a coin 20 times and you're looking at the probability you're going to get exactly 5 heads. Um, you have to interpret the words to the symbols, like exactly means equals. We could have a less than or equal to case. Um, for example, uh, uh, I'm flipping a coin 20 times, find a probability that I get at most 7 heads. That's x is less than or equal to 7. The um, greater than or equal to case, um, maybe uh, at least, so at least 7 heads and you have the between case. Now all these are includes the values um, and you'll run across some problems that don't have the includes but we're going to see how to handle those and then you plug it into the appropriate formula over here which we'll look at a lot closer. Let's take a look at this example. Given a binomial distribution of n is equal to 30 and p is equal to 0.25. Let's first write that down. n is 30, p is equal to 0.25. <clears throat> exactly 8. Well, first we're going to kind of write down what we think the x values are. Because again, uh, identify number of trials, identify P, well those are given directly. And those are always be given in these problems. You can't solve these problems unless you have N and P. List the X values the problem entails. Exactly 8, that means that uh, we just got 1, X is equal to 8. If I come over here using this table, that's the this form here, X is equal to a value. So our A in this case A is equal to 8. That right there. So this is the form we're going to plug it into. Equals binom dot dist equals binom dot dist beginning parentheses and it tells us we're going to put our a in first. Uh, that's our 8 in this case. Comma. The number of trials. That's our n. n we said in this one was 30. Probability of success. That's our p. Again, I'm looking at this one right here. Our p is 0 0.25. Comma and then false. <clears throat> so that's how we'd put that one in and then press enter. And that'd give us our answer. Okay, let's look at our second one. Lesson 17. Now again, uh, the first two are done in each one of these. List the x values of problem entails. Uh, less than 17. What is that? x equals 0, 1, dot, 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 all the way up to 16. Because it's less than 17, so it does not include um, 17. Well, let's see which one that matches. Definitely not the equal to case. Is Can we rewrite it as less than or equal to a number? Well, it looks like less than or equal to 16. So x is less than or equal to 16. I don't know how to do the line underneath uh, in Google Sheets here. 
um, on one just one character. Uh, but that's the form of it. Less than or equal to 16. Which means, um, over here, comparing it to less than or equal to A, so A is 16. Well, then we're going to use this formula here. Equals binom.dist. Beginning parentheses. Then we'll put A in. A we said was 16, comma. We'll put E in in. Um, in was 30, comma. And then we'll put P in. P was 0.25 comma, and then we're going to put true in, and that'll be our, our form, and then we press enter, and that's our answer. Okay, let's look at C, at most 12. Most 12. Well, let's write down what that means. X equals... 0, 1, dot, dot, dot. At most 12 means it can't be over 12. Part of the part of this is you have to you have to think about what the wording means. And sometimes people have trouble with that. Well, this is again less than or equal to a value. Whenever you have 0 going up to a number, it's always less than or equal to a value. So this will be probability of x is less than or equal to 12. So A is going to equal to 12. And again, that's that same form we were just looking at. This one right here. So we're going to have equals binom dot dist beginning parentheses A, which we just said was 12, comma N, N was 30, comma P, which is 0 0.25 and true. And then press enter. By the way, these cover all of our cases. The equals in case, the less than case, the less than or equal to case. Um, you see that the less than case and less than or equal to case can both be rewritten um, as less than or equal to once we list our x values. Okay, let's look at D. more than 20. <clears throat> well, let's think about what that means. X equals more than 20 means it doesn't include 20. So it'll be 21, 22, all the way up to, and our largest is, has to be 30. The reason why our largest has to be 30 is because n is 30. So if you got, um, for example, flipping a coin 30 times, you can't have it go up to 31. Well, as I start looking through my, my table again, I got the equals 2 case. It's definitely not this. I got less than or equal to a number. Well, that's not less than or equal to a number. It's actually greater than or equal to a number, greater than or equal to 21, which is this case right here. So we can rewrite this. Probability that x is greater than or equal to 21. So matching up against our form over here, our a is going to be 21. Now here's our formula we're going to plug it into. So I got equals 1 minus binom.dist, beginning parentheses. Uh, that'd be nice if it didn't cover it up. If I close that there. And then we want A minus 1. Well, A is 21. So I'll go ahead and put 21 minus 1, comma. Or you could put 20 if you just visualize that. Then I want N, P, and then true. N uh, was 30. P is 0.25. And then true. Again, commas between our parameters. And that's how we'd plug that in. And that'd be our answer. Um, 
our next example. See, that was D, E, at least 25. Well, let's write down what x values that is. That's x equals 25, 26, dot, 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 all the way up to 30. At least means includes 25. And for some people, that's the hardest part, interpreting these words and into these numbers. After that, you just match it up to your table. Well, that's our example again of x is greater than or equal to a number. Greater than or equal to 25. So, a is going to equal to 25. Use this formula again. Equals one minus binom dot dist, and we're going to have a minus one. A is twenty-five, so you got twenty-five minus one, comma. Uh, in p and true, in was thirty, p is 0.25 and true, and that's how we'll uh, plug that in. And you see we get zero. Um, it's not actually zero, but just uh, the number is so small it must have rounded to zero. And our last example. Between 10 and 20 inclusive. Inclusive means it includes 10 and 20. So, between 10 and 20. That's uh, 10, 11, dot, 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 all the way up to 20. Now the less than case goes to zero. The greater than case goes to n. Or the, I should say less than or equal to case goes to zero. The greater than or equal to case goes to 30. Um, this is just between two numbers. So this would be 10 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 20 between two numbers and that matches that right there so a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 matching it up against the a and b here um, let me wrap that it's over here I'm gonna Use this formula here. It's a little bit more complex, but still same idea. Just plug in your numbers. It equals binom dot dist uh, beginning parentheses b. What was b? Twenty n, which is thirty p, which is 0.25 and true. Close parentheses. Have to make sure you do that. Minus. We're not not down in this one. Binom dot dist. Beginning parentheses, a minus 1. A, what was a? A is 10, so 10 minus 1, comma n, which was 30, comma p, which is 0.25, comma true. And that's how I'd plug that one in. Then if I press enter, that gives us our answer there. And that, ha that uh, covers all the different forms you'd have for doing a binomial distribution um, using Google Sheets.